Erukaba. He's already arriving. Last Saturday, the senior presidential advisor, Special Operations, General Mohos Kanerugaba, was in Arua City on a talent and search promotion mission. Sports is also a unifying factor. It unifies us. The event having been successfully hosted at Arua City Golf Course grounds, the team extended their West Nile trip by interacting with communities. <laughs> cannot leave Arua without touching on a girl child. So we are visiting the three luckiest schools in Alua and Muni girls, you are number one. This visit by team chairman at Muni Girls Secondary School in Arua City was among the long day community tours by Jeno Mohose's expanded team. The team here is going to tap talents. Team MK, there are a lot of talents of young people here. At the right time, I want to request you to come and tap these talents from these girls. I want to say on my behalf and on behalf of the entire population of Ivy Division and on behalf of the students of this school, we want to congratulate our first son upon becoming a four-star general in the country. The sanitary pads, we need them. Yeah, we surely need them. Because you know we all come from different sectors. There are some people who are able to afford and the others who are not able to afford. We feel as privileged as a school to have this donation. We know that this is one of the very important things which a girl child needs. However, with over 700 students, the institution has challenges. There are some, some necessities needed for us as students and the school as well. Because if you have a conducive environment, it will help you a lot to study and it will improve on your mind. The challenge here is we don't have actually a functional laboratory. This is, you see these windows are not supposed to be closed, they are supposed to be open for emergency, for exit. So we don't have running water in this laboratory here. We don't have enough equipment. These 164 candidates cannot sit all at a go because of inadequate facilities we have here. So we have to break them into shifts. It is very tedious. Like any other institution, they have very many challenges. Some of them are short term, others are long term. And uh, for now, we cannot give a sustainable solution. We're just here to give a short term assistance to the young ladies. This is a concern not only in the West Nile region, but all across. Even my hometown, Bodaka, we have schools. We have girls that fear that drop out of school because of health hygiene related problems. They get pregnant, they can't even, they can't even afford sanitary towels. St. Mary's Adiofe Girls Secondary School still in Arua District are among other institutions of learning which benefited from the tour. Though we can afford, but there are sometimes it is very hard to get them. So like we appreciate it when if they have brought it for us. The school will celebrate 40 years of existence early next year. We have produced very many girls out of there. They are in the field working in different sectors, in education, in politics, in medicine. They are all there and even social workers. So we continue to produce every year a good number of girls who go out in the field to work. Some have come back to offer service back in the school year as teachers. It is evident through these visits that the country is experiencing an increase in enrollment, raising a need for infrastructure, especially in rural areas. Robert Onyango, UPC News, Arua City.